GHK Lava on the National Outlook on Kaicho Radio 99.1 and 99.5 FM. Thank you for joining us. Corruption. Not a day goes by that some question is not raised, pointed out, hurled at either the government or the opposition by, the, by, by either side or their supporters. And one of the things, one of the areas outside of oil that has been played with corruption is our construction process, our projects, our public works projects. And so the new minister of works, Bishop Edgehill, went on the move and announced his new National Tender and Procurement Board, NPTAB. And you've got a set of new faces there. And here it is, two things on that caption. Evaluators under scrutiny for skullduggery and electronic tender submissions mode. I think those are good things. I think those are long overdue things. Because here's, here's Minister Edgehill. Your job, this is to the new board, your job primarily in the first instance would be to uphold the high principles of ensuring transparency, accountability, competitive bidding, good governance, value for money, and ensuring that you create an architecture that is free from corruption. Well said, Bishop. You're preaching to the choir here. I hope that those on that board are part of the choir that is receptive, that will be responsive and responsible for bringing about the changes needed. Transparency, accountability, good governance, wonderful things, wonderful things. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars, routinely, billion dollar projects, almost as routinely, to get our roads built, our hospitals, our schools. And yet we've had so much problems. Yet we have had so many failures. Yet we have had so much finger pointing and cursing at each other because we can't get right. Look, corruption is our way of life. And it doesn't have to be to this degree. It does not have to be to this level that we have in this small country. We're still poor because we're waiting for the oil money. But the president went on record to say, unless they're sweeping reforms, we will not be touching the oil cash. Good for him. I like that. Now, back to the procurement board, and this new board of, of governors, board of directors. Here's the story. If you come clean, and you are about what is clean, you will be clean. And then you will have no fear, no looking over shoulder, no favors owed, to call things as they, are, as they should be, to call people out. And I think a good place to, is this business of starting with the evaluators, because the evaluators have failed us. Most of them have failed us. How do you sign off on some of these things that collapse? not too long after. How do you sign off on these things that leak, that blow up, that break up? I mean, what's going on here? We're talking about civil engineers. We're talking about audit scrutineers. I mean, surely their skills are better than this. Surely their approach is comprehensive. I would want to think that so because you're signing your name there approving the people's money to be spent to pay, for, to pay for the works that are supposedly done, supposedly done. So are the evaluators in cahoots in bed with the contractors who fail us? And the answer has to be, well, quite frequently, too, too often for comfort. So, so now, what to do with them? We've got to screen them, we've got to monitor them, we've got to push them, we've got to get rid of those who don't, who have failed, who've got a history, a reputation, based on evidence, of gaming the system, of working in tandem with the contractors to rip us off. Because that's what has happened, they've ripped us off. Delays, cost overruns, and the usual nonsense that is so draining to us. I mean, how long can we afford this? For how much 
more can we pay? How much more can we pay? So, screening and scrutinizing the evaluators, the engineers and others, that they will do proper work has to have happened before. But now that it's on the table, it's on the front burner, it's before us. I, I urge, I exhort that this, these do not be just more words. I thought I was the wordsmith around here, but it seems that everybody has got their own book, their own encyclopedia, and it's endless. We say the right things, but we don't do the right things. So if the, the new board in procurement is serious, is devoted, it's going to roll up its sleeves, it's going to fold its fists and get some work done, I'm all for that. I support it. And I say, don't fail us. I like the fact about electronic tender submissions. For too long we have heard about, about uh, documents lost, not found, documents found, then lost, documents docked, paper, paper documents docked, paper documents disappeared, and on and on and on. We've had some bitter complaints from people who have lost out, people who have been, uh, people who have been dealt with unfairly because of favors that were paid for by others. Electronic submissions, as the board chair said, I think Mr. Balgobe, that is going to broaden the, the population of interested bidders, and they'll come. You'll have an electronic timestamp. You'll have an electronic, uh, electronic submission of billions annually in Guyana dollars that are being utilized, that are being earmarked to do this or that or the other for our benefit so that our quality of life can improve. I say let's get it right. Let's get it right this time and let's get more of it right. Until the next time, GHK Lal on Kaicho Radio 99.1 and 99.5 FM. Thank you for joining us on the National Outlook. Goodbye.